Good morning, everyone. Here's our story for the day. The Gingerbread Baby. It was cold outside, but it was warm inside. A fine day for gingerbread, Matty thought. Matty's mother put the big blue bowl on the table and lit the stove. Matty took down a worn-looking cookbook with old-fashioned writing on the cover. He opened it up to the page that said, Gingerbread Boy. They measured and mixed. Maddie rolled the dough into the shape of a gingerbread boy and they popped him in the oven. Bake a full eight minutes. No more, no less. Do not peek, the recipe read. Maddie listened to the clock. Tick, tock, tick. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Maddie couldn't wait any longer. He opened the oven door to take a peek. Instead of a gingerbread boy, out jumped a bread gingerbread baby. He pranced around the big blue bowl. I am the gingerbread baby fresh from the pan. If you want me, catch me if you can. Maddie's mother reached for the gingerbread baby to put him back into the oven, but he ran all around the kitchen and the door opened and in came Maddie's father. What's that delicious smell, he asked as the gingerbread baby tumbled through his legs and outside into the yard. He ran by a tabby cat. She twitched her tail and sprang at him. They rumbled and tumbled, but the gingerbread baby came out on top. He ran toward the garden wall. The dog caught a whiff of tasty ginger and sniffed along behind him. But the gingerbread baby was halfway up when the dog caught up. He barked and barked, and the gingerbread baby climbed the wall. Maddie was still inside. He heard his mother and father yelling. He heard a cat meowing and a dog barking, and he heard the gingerbread baby shouting, Catch me if you can. Maddie opened up the worn-looking cookbook for the second time. Meanwhile, the gingerbread baby wheeled on down the path and into the barn. The goats looked up as he somersaulted across their backs. The last one tried to catch him, but the gingerbread baby was too fast. Martha and Madeline were standing by the well when the gingerbread baby stopped to take a drink. They looked at each other and winked. Martha started to talk to him while Madeline tiptoed up with a bucket, but they couldn't fool the gingerbread baby. He took a braid from Martha and a braid from Madeline and tied them in a knot and ran down the road. Back in the house, Maddie stirred and mixed and rolled the dough. He shaped it, put it in a pan, put it in the oven. Tick tock, tick tock, eight long minutes. This time he did not peek. I will catch him if I can, said Maddie. As he went bouncing along, the gingerbread baby saw a farm wagon. He jumped in and settled down for a ride. But the smell of gingerbread was too much for the mama pig. She tossed him high in the air and opened her mouth, but the gingerbread baby twisted in the air and came down hard on her nose. I am the gingerbread baby, too quick for the mother and father, too fast for the cat, the dog, and the goats, too clever for Martha and Madeline, too smart for the mama pig. Who's left? Catch me if you can. Feeling smug, the gingerbread baby strolled along by himself till he came to a bridge. Just as he got to the middle, he heard running feet and saw a crowd of villagers. The gingerbread baby was trapped. He jumped up onto the railing, backflipped through the air, and landed on a chunk of ice floating down the river. The ice bobbed along with the gingerbread baby dancing on top, singing, Look at me, and what do you see? The best gingerbread baby ever. Till his feet got cold, and he jumped ashore. Oh! <gasps> Who was watching from the trees? Uh-oh, it was a fox. He crept up behind the gingerbread baby, ready to eat him. But the fox couldn't help himself, and he licked his chops. Smack, smack. <laughs> the gingerbread baby heard him and ran as fast as he could. Just when the fox was catching up, the gingerbread baby saw the milk and cheese man, and he jumped into the bucket. Ha, ha, he, he, you'll never catch me. I'm the gingerbread baby. Catch me if you can. The milk and cheese man heard the gingerbread baby's voice. Who is meddling with my milk, he shouted and lifted the lid. The gingerbread baby was ready. He jumped out, tweaked his nose, and ran. 
Now the milk and the cheese man, the fox, the villagers, the mama pig, Martha and Madeline, the bleeding goats, the barking dog, the meowing cat, the father and the mother were all after the gingerbread baby and getting closer, and he knew it. The brash baby was getting tired. He wasn't as peppy and proud as he'd been. He sniffed the familiar smell and followed his nose to the woods. He couldn't believe what he saw. There in the middle of a clearing was a gingerbread house, frosted with sugar, covered with candy, and doors with peppermint handles wide open. The gingerbread baby clapped his hands with glee, and he ran inside. In a tick-tock, everyone arrived in the clearing, but all they found were a few bits of frosting, a peppermint candy, and crumbs. The father exclaimed, the gingerbread baby has finally met his match. I wonder who caught him. Well, let's go home and tell Maddie. Hello, Maddie, said his father when they got home. We never did catch the gingerbread baby. All we found were crumbs in the snow. I see you've been busy, said his mother, looking at the gingerbread house. Too bad we never caught the gingerbread baby. Too bad, said Maddie. Only Maddie could hear the tiny voice inside the gingerbread house. I'm the little gingerbread baby, lucky as can be, to be living in the house that Maddie made for me.